Hi everyone, my name is Allie Meyer. Hi everyone, I'm Sri Lini. And we're from the Earth, Atmospheric, and Planetary Sciences Department at Purdue University. So today we are here to uh, take you through our water systems and how it gets polluted. So let's start away. Um, so when talking about uh, the water that we drink, uh, the source is usually rain. Uh, uh, we call it precipitation, so it can be either rain or snow. So most of it usually ends up on the surface of the earth and uh, it could be in the form of rivers, ocean, lakes or whatever. And some of it actually goes down into the ground and uh, the water that we drink is actually coming from the ground water. But uh, the interesting part is that although the earth is actually mostly covered in water, only a little percentage of it, a very small percentage is actually drinkable fresh water. So this is why it's very important to keep the water that we have and the water that's available to drink very clean and not, um, not have any pollution in it. So pollution is anything that uh, is added to the water to uh, make it yucky to drink. Uh, sometimes you can see it, sometimes you can't see it or it's invisible, um, but it's anything that you don't want to be drinking along with your pure fresh water. Um, so keeping pollution out of our water systems is best for us. It's best for the animals in our ecosystem, the fish. Uh, pollution can cause harm and kill uh, animals. Uh, it can also harm us. Um, so pollution can be in the form of um, debris. So here we have uh, some dirt and some wood chips and some plant material and it's uh, it's big pieces of growth stuff that you wouldn't want to you wouldn't want to put in your in your drinking water. Like look how look how gross that looks. You wouldn't want to drink that. Yuck. So we've got our, our dirty water here. And some pollution like this is going to be a little bit easier to remove. And then things that are much smaller or invisible uh, are a lot more, are harder to remove. Uh, so we're going to go through and we have, we had our nice cup of clear, fresh, pure water that we could have drank right here. And we've added our big pollutants to it. So we're going to go ahead and pour it through our filter here. We just have a uh, coffee filter, like maybe the ones that your parents use in the morning uh, to make their coffee. And will you hold this? So yeah. So we're just gonna pour our polluted water right through there. And so if you can see, our filter is catching all of that big yucky stuff that we have that we added to our water and what's making it through is all the nice fresh water. So it's clear, you can see that we've taken out all of those big particles, all of that dirt and uh, gross that we had added to it. So that worked really well for our big particles that we were using. But what if we add some food coloring? Let's just keep it aside. Beautiful. Now we can. All right. So we're going to take our food coloring. So compared to the big chunky parts, now you can see, we can call this a pollutant as well, but it's actually invisible. We can't see any particles in it. Uh, because it's food coloring, we can see the color, but there could be chemicals or things that we actually add to the environment, which are even colorless. So we won't be able to even see a color. So let's see how that would get filtered or not. Let 
Right. So as you can see, earlier when we uh, used the same filter to filter the bigger chunky parts, the fresh water came out uh, almost as clear as it was before. But now uh, when we're using the same kind of filter, you can see that the coloring is not actually being filtered out. So uh, the coloring or the pollutant is still in the water. So uh, small pollutants like that are really hard to remove from water. So that's why we have to keep in mind what we actually add to the environment because it might somehow go and end up in some of the water sources that we really use for drinking and other domestic uses. So here we can see a comparison of um, what we're calling our clean water. There could be invisible pollutants in there, but uh, we are saying that this is our nice, clean, pure water. And then here we have our water with the, the big chunks that we talked about, and we poured that through this filter, and we look at all the, all the chunks that we caught uh, using the filter to get back to clean water. And here is our, uh, our example of harder pollutants to take out of the water. So after we poured this water through a filter, it still came out red. So that shows that some pollutants are harder to take out. And it's very important to be careful what we put into the environment. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>